Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. Today we have a new Windows 11 Insider Preview build, 22K.100. So if we type in the search box WinVer, we can see that we now have Microsoft Windows 11, of course, OS build 22K.100. In this video, we're going to go through the most important changes and improvements to this new build. And of course, if you enjoy these videos that I do, don't forget to leave a like down below and subscribe to this channel because every time when Microsoft launches a new Insider preview build for Windows 11, we're gonna cover it up on this channel as soon as possible. The first obvious change is that Microsoft started rolling out the chat for Microsoft Teams to insiders from the dev channel but not everyone will see it right away. In my case, I can see it. This is the new chat icon. And if you click it, you are going to see a minimalistic Microsoft Teams where you will be able in the future to do a meeting. As you can see here coming soon, you are able to chat. You can see suggested contacts. And of course, you can open up Microsoft Teams. Now that I changed the hidden icon flyouts from the taskbar in the right side has been updated to match the new visuals of Windows 11. But as you can see here, is it is not updated. So what Microsoft recommends is going to personalize and switch between themes and this should fix it. So I'm just going go to go and switch to this theme and then I'm going to switch back to my theme and like that the problem should be easily fixed. As you can see the theme switching is indeed a bit buggy still in Windows 11. So we're going to have to deal with it. And as you'll see now, after we switched up the theme, we now have the new visual design for Windows 11 in this hidden icon flyouts. This is a nice change, a nice design. And yeah, it's a nice change in my opinion. Now, if we go to the notification center, we can now access focus assist settings directly from here. And if we click on it, of course, the settings app will open. But as you can see, it is still bugged because it doesn't redirect us to the focus assist and we have to search it manually because as you can see sometimes uh, it's working sometimes it's not I think yeah but this is the new change you can access focus assist settings from the notification center another interesting thing is that when a background activity from an app requires attention as said on the Microsoft blog post that of course you're gonna have the link to in the description down below the app will flash on the taskbar to get your attention in Windows 11 this was updated so that it still grabs your attention but with a calming treatment that minimizes the impact of unwarranted distractions the subtle flashing eventually stops and you'll see a slight the red backplate and red pill under the app icon continuing to note a background activity needs your attention. So as you can see here, for example, Discord, I have some unread messages from Discord. I have this slightly red backplate to the app in the taskbar and of course a red pill down below it. As you can see, you can compare it to the other apps. It is a bit red. So this is how Microsoft in Windows 11 wants to grab our attention in a more calming way as they say on their blog post. So I think that's pretty interesting. The touch keyboard icon in the taskbar was changed also as you can see it is a little bit smaller because it wasn't really consistent with the other icons in the taskbar but of course the touch keyboard still does the same thing but now actually looks pretty good because it matches up the other icons from the system tray. A few updates were done to the Microsoft Store. When you navigate, you'll see a lot more animations that will help us keep track of what we're looking for or what we're browsing. So I think that's a nice thing, but it won't really be a noticeable thing if we don't use Microsoft Store that much. But as you can see, now we have Microsoft Store Preview. So of course, Microsoft is still working on the Microsoft Store. And now at the end of the video, I'm just gonna note out a few important fixes from my point of view. One would be from the taskbar, a issue that was causing explorer.exe to crash when the date and time button on the taskbar was clicked to access new notifications with focus assist turned off. That's really important. Added the missing settings icon for the tech context menu entries. And of course they have fixes for all aspects of Windows, for example, search, fixes for the positioning of the search window when the taskbar is left aligned, fixes for widgets, and of course other fixes that could be important. As I've said, the link to this blog post from the Windows Insider blog will be in the description down below. Go in there and see if your error or problem was fixed in this new build. And of course, leave a comment down below because I cannot wait to hear from you. And um, let me know what you think about this new Windows 11 
insider preview build and as always don't forget to like this video if you want me to continue doing these videos i'm trying to do them as soon as the microsoft team launches a new insider preview build so i'm doing my best in this situation of course don't forget to subscribe to the tech base channel and don't forget that if you want to see the development process for windows 11 i have created a playlist where you can see some brief presentations for all the microsoft builds that were launched before and i'm hoping that i will continue this until the official launch and of course after that because Microsoft will continue to update Windows 11 as they did with Windows 10 before. So those being said, don't forget to let me know in the comments down below what you think about this new build. I was Emmanuel from TechBased, until next time, have a nice day.